I got some mail I didn't open. So I'm going to open it with you guys. Just getting my coffee, getting my coffee so I can uh, hunker down and have, oh, yeah, that's okay. I'm getting my coffee so I can sit down with you guys for a little visit. Um, isn't this cool mug? I've got a Doctor Who mug. I think I got it at Comic-Con one time. I had another favorite mug and I recently uh, was taking my kids to school, had the dog with me. Um, so I know it wasn't the dog and I know it wasn't the kids. We were all gone. Left it on the coffee table in the living room, which is, which is funny because uh, it's a short drop from the coffee table in the living room to the floor and the floor has got a very nice tufty rug. And yet when I came home, the handle was smashed, smashed off the mugs. So somehow my cats or my house ghost managed to do that. Um, I'm sitting in my uh, dining room today, which is my planty room, and I felt like enjoying my planty room because I just had a birthday and added some new plants, and I was just working on some planty content. Um, yeah, uh, so my plants are probably a tiny bit pissed at me because I just pulled the uh, the drapes a bit for the nice bright um, southern exposure, just so I could have better lighting in here for making a video. But we'll try not to be too long because they'll get angry. Um, I got a Lush Kitchen box. This is maybe the third Lush, Lush Kitchen box I've gotten. Um, I started getting them back in about October. Um, and I haven't gotten that many because I'm trying to keep the resolution to uh, be on a budget and be practical. Um, so I signed up and then I skipped a bunch of months. And I think I planned on, it costs about $65 Canadian per month all in and that's the shipping and taxes and stuff so i figured you know if i got it 10 months of the year it's 650 dollars. i'm not going to do that so i signed up for about six months and um left left off the other six and i'm trying to stick stick to that so i have some months that are going to be more or some times of the year that'll be more box intensive and fall and around christmas I wanted to get this box at my birthday time, I think maybe at Easter um, and in the summer, one box. Um, and next year I'm going to get the box in January for sure because this year I skipped the January box and then I saw they had done these really cute retro looking lush tote bags that everybody got in the January box and I was feeling left out. So <laughs> that's the trade off, right? Stay on budget and have FOMO or <laughs> avoid FOMO and wreck yourself. <laughs> so I'm trying not to wreck myself. Um, so I got the box this month. It is my birthday month. I thought this box actually, I thought I was getting it for Valentine's Day and I'm a bit confused now if it was a February box and I'm getting it real late or if it's actually a March box. Um, so I don't remember what's in it. I remember nothing. So it'll be an adventure for me. And it smells nice. It's it's a, a little floral, maybe a a rose sort of scent that I'm picking up on. It says scan for exclusive content. I'm not going to do that because I film on my phone, so I don't know how I'd scan. Feel good florals blossom in Mother Nature's sweet embrace with uplifting citrus and delicate floral essential oils. And I definitely smell that. And look at this. This is like an art postcard. I might, I was going to paint this wall the crazy bright color like I have in my kitchen. Maybe uh, this would go cool on that wall if I did it. I was kind of thinking a floral wallpaper on a wall in here too. Maybe this one. <sighs> I'm trying, I'm just trying to slow my roll, you know, spending money I haven't got. So since my floor is dirty, I can reach um, a plastic shopping bag that I'm recycling and put some of these uh, peanuts. And they are, um, I'm pretty sure, potato starch. Uh, so they're biodegradable. They're water soluble. You can compost them. You can eat them with cheesy sauce. However, probably there are some things in this bag that weren't wrapped or weren't wrapped too well. <laughs> so they might be a little tiny bit have a floral sort of aftertaste not so great with uh, cheesy sauce just grabbing a bag okay and while i'm bagifying most of these i can have a little chitty chatty 
see how everyone's doing. <laughs> How's your life been going? <laughs> Mine's been going okay, but I have to admit I've been in pain lately. Um, it started with a heel problem last October after I'd been working inside a while in my job. My job has inside and outside jobs, and I, I took an inside job which required me to wear steel-toed boots. After I'd been wearing them for a while, I noticed I had fairly intense, sharp pain, stabbing pain, burning pain in my heel and shooting up my ankle and radiating kind of around my ankle. And uh, that was worrisome. And I need my job and I need to keep wearing my boots. So I kept going, um, which blossomed into me self-medicating on naproxen and just trying to, you know, wish it away and imagining it might be a heel spur or something. It might get better. Looking it up, scaring myself that it could be a lymphoma, could be various things um, and still not doing anything about it for a while. Hobbling my way through Christmas and then January because I was in a position that I liked. Oh, I'm almost dug out. Anyhow, I got to the point where I could hardly walk and it was um, diminishing returns. And now not just taking the peroxin, but also taking Tylenol and different stuff and still not feeling great. So I finally um, limped into the doctor's office and he had a look and we had an x-ray. We're going to talk about the x-ray next week in uh, me and him. Um, but I think it's bad. Um, so I'm still trying to go to work. Um, I've now noticed I'm having pain all over. So right now, even if, as I'm doing this, I'm having shoulder pain. I've had aching in my hands. My feet have been unbearable and hurting weird places, not just the ankle and the heel anymore. Um, and back pain. Um, yeah, right now, I'm feeling shoulder pain. Hand pain is a common one. And I'm starting to think it might be arthritis or something like that. So um, I just had a birthday and it uh, wasn't what I wanted for my birthday. I'm trying to stay positive. I know that being in chronic pain can make you negative, And I have caught myself lately sometimes being a little negative, saying negative things about my life that I don't really like hearing myself say or want anyone else to hear me say, especially not my kids, um, like FML, that kind of stuff. Um, just me, things like that. And I don't want to um, sound like that or feel like that. And I miss, I miss walking further, spending more time outside because now when I'm not at work, I'm honestly trying to rest my feet and hoping I can continue to work. I'm worried if I have to have surgery or something, I'll have to take time off of work. So this is, you know, it's a um, little context of my life right now. And I can see all the goodies in here. So I guess some little, you know, self-care treats. This is the self-care that I think is, uh, I really need to prioritize. But actually, these days, a hot bath, a hot soak, something sort of restorative is uh, extra good. So maybe I am going to give a little bonus weight to this kind of self-care for the time being. Um, so what is in here? Like I say, I, I don't remember. Did I vote on this? I don't know. Luckily, there's a little sheet. So we're going to see what's in here as I pulled. Oh, it says surprise a couple times. Surprise, surprise. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. Why does it say surprise? Maybe we didn't vote on these? I do remember kind of voting on this B Electro Shower Gel. That sounds familiar. So all of the products in the kitchen box say kitchen exclusive on the label. Um, they say kitchen exclusive because they're only available in the kitchen box. They're kind of out of print, <laughs> out of circulation right now as far as buying in the stores. Um, they're just a limited run for the subscribers. So that's fun. It's fun. It's not... The main way that I would want to get my bath products because I don't necessarily get things that I love or things that I would routinely use and you can't routinely use them since they're not they're not available in the stores or online so yeah but they're it's it's fun little treats and like I say I'm I'm uh, determined to uh, control how often I'm getting the kitchen box and not get it every month um, yeah, so I don't even see it. it. I can't vote on it or anything on the months that I've unsubscribed, which is good because it keeps me um, honest, keeps me from getting tempted and just adding months. 
So here's the B Electro Shower Gel. It, as you can see, is a, a nice kind of greeny color. I'm not a shower gel gal because, as you know, I make my own soap. We'll see how thick it is. It's pretty thick. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love that. It's a, It's got a green smell. I smell like grapefruit. I smell something, maybe bergamot, something green to, like, basil or something what's it say it says zing of grapefruit sweeps you away to breakfast in paris while fresh rose petal infusion and exotic jasmine sweeten your skin i'm looking at it says fennel in here jasmine jojoba i'm looking for the ones that contribute to the scent it's got the the usual suspects for a shower gel propylene glycol Cocamide MEA, sea salt, um, polyethylene glycol, which is PEG 100 stearate. It's listed as here. Um, sodium lauryl sulfate. So, you know, I'm trying not to use these kind of SLS, uh, those, those kind of ingredients uh, in general. But it's a tiny, it's a 100 mil shower gel. It might be nice to take to the pools or my shower after my swim. I will enjoy this being the special smell of me after my swim, for sure. That's that's a, a fun one. Yeah, maybe it's the fennel that I'm picking up on. Definitely getting grapefruit. Mmm, anyhow, cute. Okay, so I'm going to be keeping this one. I did give away, um, I've gotten shower gels three times, so in all three boxes. Like I said, I'm not a big shower gel gal. Um, the first one was the, I think it was called Tai Tai. It was a spicy orange or warm orange. And I kept that and it's by, I, I love the smell and it's by my tub and I haven't used it at all. So, um, it might be a little bigger than this one too. And then at Christmas time, they had a gorgeous looking one that was quite festive and it was like, it had a metallic, a shimmery, I think it was called like Merry Christmas or Santa Claus or something. And I actually gave that to uh, a good friend in their stocking. So I didn't keep that one. Um, so like I say, there's not much sense of me keeping all of these things that I know I don't use. And now I have another one, which I'll put in my, I do have a lot of stuff in my, uh, swim bag already and a couple of the old ladies have said that uh I'm at the spa after I swim because I have all these products I don't care I like it I'm having fun uh I'm just curious what oh my gosh okay this is the kind of thing that I oh I wouldn't get myself up but I love when they they send it to me so this is like um I think it's a soap dough you know it's a squishy one is it a soap dough or is it What's it say? Whole lot of roses. It says fun. Use as soap or shampoo. Take a small bit in your hand and hop in the tub and lather up. If you fancy a bubble bath, crumble a small piece under the running tap. Ooh, I wouldn't mind using it like that. Mountains of suds. That sounds fun. Um, I don't generally use stuff that's rose scented because at some point in the past I did have allergy tests and they said I was allergic to rose. Not sure if I am any longer. Oh, I actually, I love that smell. There's something about that that I love. It's like cranberry or cinnamon or there's something like, like it, it smells like candles at Christmas time. Oh, I love that. It's just, that's, there's something old timey in that. Um, geranium oil. Well, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that. Rose of Damascus, it looks like. Um, and citrus, Sicilian lemon, it says. Yeah. Yeah, and it's really squishy. Like, it's squishy. I'm going to pull some out. Just show it. It's squishy, mushy. Look at that. <laughs> that would be fun to play with. See, and I probably, I don't, I'm not sure I would buy that in the, the store, but can I make a snake? I'm not sure I would buy that in the store, but it's fun to um, get given some. So there's that. I had to step away for a moment there because my daughter came down. 
and she said um, she needed pickle juice ASAP because uh, she had the hiccups. That's our standard cure for hiccups. She gets them a lot and I give her a tablespoon of pickle juice. My mom taught me that and it works. So that's what we do. So she just had her pickle juice. But yeah, I'm excited about this product, Whole Lot of Roses, and I love the smell of this, and I love the smell of this. They're, and they're fairly different too from each other. This one is definitely like more greeny and the grapefruit. And this one here, I'm super, super picking up the, uh, the rose and um, I guess the, uh, what was it? What am I thinking of? Oh my God. I smell the rose and the um, geranium, I guess, but it says talc too and cornstarch in this. I'm wondering if it's got some of those things because it's, it's almost like, you know, my grandmother's powder or something. She always had those big things of powder in her dresser drawers, and she, she never hardly used any, but she loved a fancy powder. That used to be quite the thing, you know? It's got that that kind of that smell, like like I say, like candles at Christmas. There's something old-fashioned about it anyway, and I like it. Whole lot of roses. There you go. So that'll be, I might need a soak today, huh? A hot soak with some bubbles. Um, then it says Ring of Roses Body Lotion. This is a body lotion. Oh, no way. That is so pretty. I thought I thought they were finally sending me uh, another decent size soap. This is a pretty big one. Okay. Now that's funny because this is rose and this is rose and they really smell different. This has a brighter... What's that smell? There's a smell. It's almost like a candy or some kind of like ice cream I used to like when I was a kid. It smells like something I can eat. What's the smell? It's probably cocoa butter in it. Coconut oil. Is it because it's coconut? It says evening primrose, lemon, orange peel. Uh, it looks like there's rose of Damascus. And rosa... Centifolia. Um, I'm just looking quickly. Rapeseed oil. These are um, probably like active ingredients or, you know, the bulk of the ingredients, the oils that they use to make it be a body oil. I guess this is something you just warm up on your skin. I really want to try this right now. What's it say? How to use smooth all over your body taking extra care with your dry areas yeah. let me see if i can feel it's almost like putting a crayon on yourself <laughs> it's doing something maybe i hope i don't have like a big breakout now and find out i'm still allergic to rose that would be terrible Smoothing this on my face. It's kind of got a, a shine, a sheen to it. Anyhow, I I love the botanicals on top. And since it's not going to be in um, the tub in water, that's fine, right? Because they won't kind of rot. So, yeah, very interesting. Again, not something I would have bought. Um, flower tub. I guess this is flower tub, huh? Now that looks like a bath bar. Huh? That's a bubble bar. I'm sure it is. So this looks like it would be squishy clay. It's not squishy. Again, like they really got a spring sort of scent profile. I'm loving. I'm loving the smells this time. You know, there were some of them when they were doing like the the creme brulee, the yognog and stuff. I wasn't quite sure how I felt about that. This I like. It's almost like karma. It's almost like karma. I like it. It says, let me see. I have to take off my glasses to read. Sorry. Sorry, friends. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful though? Look at it. It's got like, um, like violet petals squished into it. It looks like violet. It's got, again, covered in botanicals. Gent uh, crumble under running warm water to fill the tub with mountains of fluffy, fragrant bubbles. Yay! 
<laughs> I'm going to get my bubble bath today. Uh, sodium bicarb, potassium bitartrate, sodium lauryl sulfate again, laurel bentane, parfum, uh, Supressus Sempra Virens oil. I think that might be like juniper or something or cypress. Uh, bitter orange. Liquid ambar. Styra. Oh, I won't even try. Some sort of resin oil. Viola odorata leaf extract. Yeah, so that could be the. That could also be the botanicals, right? The viola odorata, rosa centifolia flower, jasminoids fruit ex extract. Mm. I'm, it's really reminding me of karma, and I have to say karma is my absolute right now favorite. I also love the baked Alaska scent. Those are soaps I would go back and I have to make a video soon of the things that were really home runs for me and I would buy versus the things that I just would not buy again but karma and baked Alaska soaps are definitely on the buy again list and I'm I'm loving this because I'm picking up like a karma sort of scent I like it I like it okay there's one more thing and it's the only tub of stuff I got this time it's mama mia Ooh, it's a shower scrub awesome how they know I was out of scrubs I actually I just recently had ordered a few things and I didn't make a video because I wasn't feeling great and I got the things out and I started using them so I just left it at that but um I got this uh ocean salt I think it was called um scrub and I'm not in love with that one so let's see what this one is like okay what's it say I'm looking What's oh, it? It's it's set. Oh, look at that color. It's very rosy. Pink grapefruit puree, fine sea salt. Pink grapefruit peel decoction. Himalayan salt, rosewood oil, vanilla absolute. So you're getting the picture here. Grapefruit, sort of bergamot rosewood vanilla it's an okay smell it's not my favorite one but it's okay it's a little it's a little kind of simpler definitely picking up the vanilla in there it's a nice smell yeah i'm happy with all these smells how is it gonna be oh oh okay i like this one already better than the one that i bought the one that i bought was just it's just too i don't love the consistency of the one that i bought now, the, you're going to notice when that's on, aren't you? Look, you're going to know where you did, that's for sure. It'll be neon. <laughs> yeah, okay, so they sent me a better scrub than the scrub that I had. Um, and I'm excited about the two sort of bubbly products that we got here. Is there any little treat in here? Of course, the months I skip, they give them like tote bags and stuff. And this month, nothing. <laughs> I can't complain. December was really good, wasn't it? I got the candle. I got the pin. It was very nice. It was a nice month. Um, yeah, and these ones, they smell good. So this was $65. Um, would I go in and spend $65 to get maybe these things? I might. I might. Plus, I got this to try this one we'll see we'll see we'll see so yeah these are the products and i love the little this is beautiful that i got with it <laughs> i got my hands full of products <laughs> how can i take the photo oh i think i might be <laughs> i don't know if that worked <laughs> anyhow um thanks for thanks for tuning in thanks for hanging out with me um so that was I don't know if it was uh, February or March. Not even sure. It was this one. I was noticing that other people had posted before me, and I I kind of did a, a blackout. You know, I didn't I didn't look at anybody's because I didn't want any spoilers. Um, I'm covered in in uh, scrub now, so I gotta go. 
<laughs> Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content and want to hang out again. Okay, thanks for watching. All the best.